Lightburn 1.2 introduced support for EasyCAD 2 and EasyCAD 2 Lite compatible Galvo lasers. Along with the host of existing design and laser tools, we introduced a few new exciting Galvo specific ones as well. In this video, we will be covering the brand new cylinder correction tool for Galvo lasers. We will cover what the tool is, how it works, how to set it up in Lightburn, and we will run a sample engraving to see it in action. Cylinder correction works similarly to the project mark tool found in EasyCAD software. The tool will warp the output of your design to correct for the expansion that happens when you mark on a cylindrical object without using a rotary. This is not meant to replace a traditional rotary, but it will allow you to get more accurate engravings on curved surfaces. This will allow you to do things like certain tumbler engravings without needing to hook up a full rotary. If you were to engrave a cylinder without using a rotary, the sides of the engraving would hit the cylinder at a lower point than the middle. Since the laser is projected from a single point above your object, the extra distance means that the sides of the rectangle will widen and curve. Using the cylinder correction tool, Lightburn is able to modify the data being sent to your laser to compensate for this. The result is a crisp, much less distorted engraving. To use cylinder correction, you will need to be on Lightburn 1.2 or later and have configured a compatible Galvo laser under your devices. As far as lenses go, a lens with a smaller field size or work area will have a shallower depth of field. Due to this, you will also want to use a lens that has a larger working area and in turn, a deeper depth of field. This will help to ensure you get the best results possible when engraving with the cylinder correction tool. In this example, I'm going to be using my widest lens that has a field size of 200 millimeters to give me the widest possible depth to work with. When you are first getting familiar with the cylinder correction tool, it is a good idea to use some scrap material. Something like a soda can will work great, and that is what we will start out with using. Instead of focusing the laser to the top surface of the object, you'll want to focus your lens partway into the surface of the cylinder that you will be engraving. This allows you to take full advantage of the depth of field of your lens. Now we are ready to use the cylinder correction tool. Before we activate the tool, we'll want to create or import our design into our workspace. I'm going to use the Lightburn logo, but feel free to use any design that you have on your computer. Next, head up to the Laser Tools dropdown and select Cylinder Correction Setup to open the dialog window. When the window first opens, everything will be grayed out. Click on the Enable Cylinder Correction toggle to enable it. Now we will need to input some values. The first is Mirror Distance, which is the focus distance from the Galvo mirrors to your object. This is different than the distance from your lens. This distance is fairly simple to get and will only need to be set once per lens. There is typically a tube that connects the Galvo head to the laser source and the mirrors are generally centered within that tube. You can either measure from that height to the focal point below, or if you have the measurement from the lens to the focal point, just add the difference in height to the Galvo mirrors. For my lens, I usually measure 302 millimeters from the bottom of the lens to the surface of my material to set the focal point. In this case, the distance from the bottom of the lens to the center of that metal tube is roughly 63 millimeters. So I add both lengths together to get my mirror distance of 365 millimeters. Next, we will enter the object diameter for the item we will be engraving. If you do not already know this value, you can use digital calipers to obtain this. For my Dr. Pepper can, this is 66.2 millimeters. Then choose which axes you will be engraving the curve along. Lastly, select whether the curve that will be engraved is convex or concave. Once you're happy with the input, click the Show Valid Boundary button to generate a tool layer rectangle in your workspace. This rectangle represents the bounds of the work area that you will be able to engrave given the parameters we input in the Cylinder Correction Setup window. Anything placed outside of that boundary will not be able to be corrected or engraved. If you click preview or attempt to run a job with part of the design outside of those bounds, you will receive a warning message. You will still be able to continue if you choose to, but only the portion inside of the bounds will be engraved. The rectangle generated by the cylinder correction is on a tool layer, so it will not be engraved. It is there to give you a visual of the bounds you can work within, and you are able to uncheck the frame option in the cuts and layers window to prevent it from being included when framing. For best results, you will need to center your design on the cylinder that you will be engraving. With the Lightburn logo placed within the rectangle, we will run a frame command to align our workpiece. Once we're happy with the placement, hitting start will run the engraving. 
I also ran a rectangle engraving to show what it looks like with and without the cylinder correction on. The shape and straight edges make it much easier to see the correction happening. Using this tool in combination with a simple jig is a great way to batch out tumbler engravings quickly. When you are done using this tool, make sure to uncheck the button in the cylinder correction setup window. You should now have a much better understanding of how the cylinder correction tool works and when you may want to use it with your Galva laser. Be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to not miss any new videos and check out our existing tutorial playlist for additional guides on mastering Lightburn.